Now, if I'm really, really conscious about when I release, it wouldn't just be because he moved forward, it'd be because his hind feet moved forward. So I'm going to pull on those, that lead rope. Now watch his hind feet. Watch those hind feet. I'm not going to let go of this rope. Not going to let go. Not going to let go. I got a long rope here so I can let it slide, but now I'll let go. I'll let go because his hind feet moved forward. Same thing here. Pull, hind foot, release. Watch those hind feet. They make a big difference in your relationship and communication. Pull, 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 hold, hind foot, release. Good job. Good job. Good, thank you. But we've been here before. Thank you. So unless you plan on coming in by yourself, I'm going to help you. Pull. What am I waiting for? Waiting for those hind feet to move. I can just kind of slide left and right. This causes them to unbalance. And then I can release. Thank you. Pull. 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 Hold. It's okay if he backs up. Release. Pull. What am I looking for? Looking for those hind feet. Woo! Looking for those hind feet to, um, to move forward. And I missed it. And he got up in the air. <laughs> and we get to start over. Ha <laughs> ha! Love it. This happens. Do I get frustrated by it? No! That's just natural for a horse to respond and react. Is there a better way to do it, a different way to do it? Sure. Do you have to be perfect the first time you go out with your horse? No. I just want to show you the principles, the communication. Pull and release. Yeah, you did it. You did it. Pull. Pull. And release. Good. Now there are other things you could teach your horse to do before he steps into a trailer. You could teach him to cross a log, follow you over a stream, over a bridge. Any one of those will work. None of them really matter though because the principle is simple. Young horse says, I don't know what to do with that halter pressure when there's an area I don't want to go into, and we get to play with it. We don't get to get scared or frustrated by it. We don't get mad. This is a simple game of pressure. Here's a puzzle, Justice. What do you do when you feel the pressure? Pressure. The lots of people can load their horse on a sunny day when the horse's emotions are low. The horse is calm. But how many people have the tenacity to say, look, I know you don't want to do this. That's why we're doing it. Pull. Pull. And release those hind feet. Hind feet. Looking for those hind feet, kiddo. And since we've been here before, this stage, I'm not going to st stay for a long time there. I'm not going to stay for a long time. I will adjust this halter just a little bit. I'm starting to slip down below your nose a little. But I will give a big reward when you make it past this place that you've been stuck at for a while. It's not about the trailer, it's about the horse making a choice. Do I follow Mother Nature who says, don't do this? Or do I follow my leader who says, do do this? So he makes a choice to follow Mother Nature. 
And I'm okay with that. I expected that. You should expect it too. There's the hind foot. I release. I could be here all day. This is not hard work for either of us. If you want to wear gloves, you should wear gloves. It's not a rule against wearing them or not wearing them. Wait for the hind foot. Wait for the hind foot. You gotta come forward, hind foot. You gotta come forward, hind foot. There, you came forward, hind foot. There, you came forward, hind foot. Good. not really about whether or not he wants to do it, it's whether or not he will do it. And if he will do it, he'll find massive rewards on the other side. If he won't do it, well then we'll start this conversation and hold this conversation just like you would with a child who's not willing to do something. You just wait, you outlast them. You say, it's okay. It's going to be okay. And yes, you have to, but you'll love it. Trust me, you'll love it because I'm going to reward you. And we'll do it lots so it doesn't feel unsafe or uncomfortable anymore. This thing that you felt like you couldn't do, you can. There. Now, I've got another video where I load the other Mustang and I do not lead him into the trailer. I send him into the trailer. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. So why would I do it this way, this time? Partly just to show you that you can. He's just leaning on that. Fine, I will. Lean on it, too. Oh, you made it. You made it through. And you made it through again. Can you read that this horse is not scared? He doesn't want to. He's uncomfortable for sure, but he's not afraid. If he were afraid, when I let go of this, he would jump out of the way and run as far away from this trailer as he could. But since he's just pulling and sitting and resting near the trailer, it tells me very, very clearly he's not actually afraid. He's just uncomfortable. And he gets to make a choice. Do I want to do that? No, he says, I don't want to do that. And I say, but you have to. But don't worry. I'll take my time. I'll reward your effort. Don't worry. I'll take my time and I'll reward your effort. And all that excitement, it's all just part of the plan part of the process. That's okay. I'd rather you go through this now than lock him in the trailer when he's calm and find out that he isn't actually relaxed about it or we just got lucky and he really didn't want to be in here. He just did it because he was curious and now he's not curious. <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> These little things he does are cute. Ah, oh, well done, Justice. Well done. The irony is that um, he would have done this for you as well, Carrie, because he got him in a couple of times. And the third time he says, that wasn't as cool as I thought it would be in there. 
So it's, it's good. It's like he gets to learn. Now, of course I can get out there with the flag. Of course I can make this a big emotional experience. But do you know what the real problem is? He doesn't listen to the halter. So what better way to teach under extreme circumstances? I mean, a horse that can listen to the halter here and actually listen and respond to suggestions from me and from my lead rope here, in spite of all this stuff, a horse that can do that. Well, that's a horse that I would trust to go with me into cool new places. But a horse that says no and never learns to say yes, well, that wouldn't be cool. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. See, all this time I just wanted you to try something new and you kept saying no, 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 no. See, I'm giving him a medium release now because he came out of a mental state. Oh, I'm okay. I found the worst of it, I think, so I won't put my gloves on now. But um, small release for pressure. The medium release for coming out of that really negative state. He was in there for like five minutes where he's rearing and backing and not trying and not trying. Finally, he says, okay, I'll try. Big medium release. And then we give him massive releases. Medium, mini and massive. We give him massive releases. For making physical progress toward our goal. Every one of these rears and strikes, they're all related to him saying no. They're not related to him saying I can't. He already said he can. He already said he can. Now let's see if he will. It's a big difference between a horse that can and a horse that will. Thank you, sweetie pie. We're looking for a horse that will. We're trying to train a horse that says, yes, sir, I will. And I am happy to because it's highly rewarding experience. We get to go places together. See, bit, uh, we go to a medium release again because he came out of that state and he started to explore. Yes, medium release for that kind of behavior. He's going to start looking for those. Pull on the lead rope. You are athletic. For being a little guy, you sure are athletic. Again, I gotta wait for those hind feet. Yeah, you can hop around like a bunny rabbit, but you know what's important? Hind feet moving forward. Don't stand on those feet. Walk them forward. Walk those feet forward. Thank you. Thank you so much. All that time, 
all that time. He just had to learn to say yes instead of no. This is where the big rewards come in. We had many, medium, and massive rewards. Pat him, scratch him, give him praise, loosen the halter a little bit, make sure he doesn't turn around. I want him to learn to back out. It's okay if you turn your horse around. It's better if they learn to back out. Just so they have that skill set. You never know when you get stuck somewhere and they, and they just don't have the ability to turn around. So backing out of a scary situation is just as valuable. There you go. See, so pressure on and release. Pressure on. And release. Thank you. Licking and chewing. I would never be in a trailer with a horse I didn't trust to, to behave reasonably. I'd rather be outside working with him. But because he is that horse that I trust to behave reasonably, I'm happy to do this kind of work with him. You made it! You made it again! Are you breathing? I'm breathing. <laughs> oh, good. I'm just glad it was me, not me. <laughs> you did good. You were the first. You were the first. Horses typically often have like a one, two, three, and then a fail very typical training pattern to go one good two good three and four mm, I don't know if I like this anymore I think I just made a poem <laughs> and that's important to know because you'll be going along and it's going great and then the next day you come out and they say no and you think what the heck it was so good yesterday but if you understand that pattern Horses go one, two, sure, sure, three, four, not anymore, five, six, okay, you bet, seven, eight, not anymore. Like it's just cycles. Every, about every three to four cycles through a pattern, horse says, I really don't think I like this. So a good trainer will work through that cycle. And they'll always end on the high note on the cycle. So one and two, great. You got your horse to go in. Three and four, you struggle, you finally make a pass. And you got your horse to go in at around five and six. Great, you're doing good. You could end there, like I could end here. He, he just went right in for me, no questions. I could go through another cycle. If I kept going by about eight, nine, and ten, he would say, no, I, I'm questioning this again. It would be easier to get through that one. But the important thing is that you recognize the fourth, three to four, is that magic number between six, or seven and eight, and between eleven and twelve, that's when it falls apart again. So you just got to get to number thirteen, or number fourteen, or, or get to um, number five and six, and end there. Get past the no answers and start developing yes answers with your horse. See how thoughtful that was. Oh, I'm so proud of you. So, so, so proud of you. You're very clever. Mm -hmm.